Give it hell! Uh, oh, shit. Oh, God. Ooh. Look at those Tady Jams. Yeah! F you. Because this is a good. Get him in! Oh, shit. This is gonna be good stuff. My name is Ruben. And I'm Adam. And, and we, we are Peking Duck. Duck. We're going to be uh, your chefs today, taking you on a culinary journey through space and time. Getting all the ingredients in the kitchen today and making with them whatever we can. What are we going to do with this, do you reckon, mate? Today we're making a nut crumbed pork parmigiana pastry puff. Exactly right. With some queso dipping sauce on the side. Ah, oh, now you're <laughs> spreading my Deutsch, man. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, shit. Uh, so let's get it started, chef. Without further ado, ooh. salt, <sighs> pepper, and you. Ah, oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Ah, are you okay? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Oh, shit. yeah, I'm good. Yeah, okay, good. You don't get food <laughs> unless you juggle the onions. Oh, shit, now they're ready to go. Remember to take your rings off. Don't tell my wife about it. <laughs> <laughs> or keep it out of sight. Don't tell my wife about that. Let's just say I get a little naughty when I'm cooking, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's start by turning this into our pork crumbs. Easy. That's gonna take too long. Let's switch this up. Let's Pour them out. This okay. So we wanna get a good amount of savory nut mix and um, bash the fuck out of it, mate. Perfect. <laughs> Let's get that in the bowl, scoop it up. <laughs> scoop it up. That's it. <laughs> you really want to get, you, you really. Get it all in there. You want to make sure it's all in the bowl. And then you get the big pieces, put them in your mouth. I think I really hurt my finger before, huh? Goes to show, always be careful in the kitchen. Back on track. Back right. on track. Next up, we need to mix some flour. Some flour on a plate. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, so the doors don't have handles here. <laughs> okay. Adam, would you be a doll and pass me the flour? Yes. We use only the best flour in our kitchen. It's made by me. Brand Mark. name. Mm. Sprinkle it on. Don't be shy. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Mm. I like what you've done there. This is the fun part. It's all it's, the fun part. Instead of cracking That's eggs, cooking, baby. I like to smack part. the eggs. Oh God, ooh. You got some eggshells in there. So you want to get them out. You don't want them in there. And there is eggshells all through that. There is a lot of eggshells in this. <sighs> yep. All right, we got our stations ready now. If you don't set your stations, you're going to be absolutely Adam, can I get you to uh, whip those eggs with a fork for me? Yep. Where the fuck are the fuck? Oh, look at that. Pretty good, huh? Oh yeah, that smells like eggs. Pretty good, huh? There are some big chunks in this. <laughs> now, we're gonna use not just any pork, but Australia's best pork. And what does Australia love? A bargain. We love a bar. This has been reduced not once, not twice, but three times for a quick sale. And today, we bagged these bad boys for $1.20. All right, these eggs are whisked. Oh yeah! So here we got pork which looks more like bacon. In fact, I think it is bacon. And then we've got flour, 
the best flour you can get from Matty's. Matty. And then eggs. The Adam's been whisking for a good five minutes now, just so you know they're perfect. And then we got really great crushed nuts. First step, I'm gonna lather these little pink boys in some white flour and we're gonna do a little dance. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, after it's been floured, you wanna dip it in the egg. Sometimes I like to roll it up like this, like a roll up. Remember like when you were a kid at school, roll up? Well, my mum gave me pork roll ups. <laughs> Thanks for that, mum. Okay, you got it in the egg. So I got it in the egg. Now I wanna dip it in my nuts. All right. Mm hmm Look at this guy. He's nuts. Now the main thing about this dish that a lot of people get wrong is they don't make it look good. We want to make this thing look like Cindy Crawford. So what you want to do is you want to kind of grab it and like slop it in. Slop it, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, flip it around as well. Mmm. That's a good nut. There's a fold. If there's a fold, you've got to scoop it up like this. Yeah, dude. Sometimes you've got stuff left over in your hands, you can just go like this. And these are good for frying. Today we're gonna bake. Here we go. Now we like to go plate in, but today we'll probably uh, <laughs> put a tray in. <laughs> yeah. Get them in! The pork is being cooked in the oven. We're gonna move on to Either the queso or the pastry puffs. What do you think, chef? Well, the pastry puffs are ready. These are pre-made by the freezer. Oh yeah, that shout out. Brand name. Thanks. Brand name. <laughs> Let's start grating. So now we're gonna make you a queso. We go only the best with our cheese. Unlike these la da chefs out there, Gordon Ramsay, I'm looking at you. Uh, we use brand name. And you want some of this too. A bit of Red Leicester by brand name. Really just give it out! Oh, you really oh don't get the uh, they always say go light. We're about high impact. Remember, high impact cooking. This is high impact. This is high impact. How cooking. the fuck do you open this? God. Oh, shit. oh, it's chalky cheese. Brand name. So for everyone playing at home with your queso, you're gonna want a mix of about. Three parts cheese and four parts chet. See? Look at this. It's like art. That's what you want. That's, that's exactly what you want. What he you want. did it! Once you got all your queso cheese, there's a little bit of a trick here to making a perfect uh, queso, and that's <laughs> get some flour. And then that makes the cheese not stick together. You want to toss it in that. That's pretty good. Looks beautiful. Look at this butter. <laughs> and then see these bad boys, they're going straight in. You plop them in. They're going straight in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to cut the onions to give it the zest. Put the onions in, we need the onions in there. But before we start cutting the onions, it's time to fucking get steampunk. Ah. I can't see shit. Now when you're cutting, you don't want to cut yourself. Remember that, kids. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get this outer layer off. I don't know if this <laughs> knife is for onions. It's not an onion knife. I can't see with these. We get these in the cheese. Throw them in the bucket. Throw them in the bucket. Wow. Ooh, my now, eyes, my eyes, it's happening again. Our challenge is to use everything in the kitchen. So we're gonna use some parsley. Now a lot of people don't put parsley in their queso, but a lot of people aren't us. Oh yeah, it's 
So this is the part where you start ex uh, wow. going to another plane. How are these going? Another realm. Holy hell. Our pork schnitzels are ready. Gee. Now we're going to need some, oh, look at these guys. <laughs> Don't worry about it, honey. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of kitchen romance, huh? Yeah. Don't tell my wife about it. Please don't tell her. <laughs> Please don't tell our wives. Do some big time cooking. Big time cooking, baby. Big time cooking, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Cook my gems in my tray. I said, oh, baby, baby. I eat potato gems every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to stir the queso. The thing about our kitchen is we never know where uh, we never know where anything is in our kitchen. This is normally used to mash potatoes, but I'm going to mash the cheese with it today. <laughs> I think the cheese is burnt. Fuck. Oh, mama. Cajun seasoning. Oh, what? That'll do. Then let's get our dear friend brand name. Slap it on. Bit of Cajun. Uh, what do you think about a bit of cheese? A lot Ooh. of people have called us crazy for this recipe, by the way. And I just got a message to everybody out there that's ever called us crazy for making these uh, these nut crusted pork. Fuck you, because this is a good. <laughs> Back to my cheese, I go. I'll fuck you up. Oh I'm just shit! Kidding. I love you guys. The cheese is... Keep up the comments. We love your comments. Hit the like and subscribe. All right. Do you think this is done? Have a look at this cheese. Ah! Oh. You want the queso to have a consistency of spaghetti. Another fun thing that a lot of chefs don't do when they're working with pastry, which is something that every chef should do with pastry, you should always put Cajun seasoning, make sure it's hot, on top of the on top of the puff. Oh wait, wait, there's one thing before you do that, and this is very important. Don't fuck with this step. Sorry. And when there's no egg brush around, you just want to get this and uh, give your puff pastry a little douse with a bit of, yeah, you know, a bit of a. Douse the puff. To all you chefs playing at home, this is actually better than your little egg brush. Oh. Oh. That's all? That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. I'm slowly getting naked, That's by it. the way. That's it. That's it. Don't tell my wife. Oh, and look at, look at those. Bam. Look at those tatey jams. Yeah. And then you contemplate, have we used every ingredient we possibly can? No, we've got sprigs of rosemary. Let's get them in there. Sprig. A lot of people ask me, hey, you're a chef. Why is it called a sprig of rosemary? Chuck them on the taties. Sometimes you can just even eat the sprig yourself if you feel like it. Mm-hmm. Had a big lunch, uh, you might have some food left in your teeth. Oh, that's fucked. Crushing out the sprig. That's really oh. high in flavor. Holy shit. No wonder they put one little <laughs> sprig in a whole <laughs> lamb. <laughs> Disgusting. Holy shit. It's worse Again, than dill. It's all about reaching the next plane. Ah, this queso smells really strange. Mm. Do you want to put some more heat in there? Some more Cajun? Boing, yeah, boing, yeah, boing, yeah, boing, yeah, boing, yeah. <laughs> 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 We've used everything except the green basil because why is that? It's going on at the garnishing stage for all you fakes playing at home. Probably don't even know what a garnish is. I'll tell you what a garnish is. It's like a hat. Huh? This is gonna be good stuff. 
So now we're just gonna banter like old times. So how's your how's your wife? She's good. It's good. She's good. She's really sick. <laughs> this um, if you've been wondering who this guy is, his name's Steve. Uh. You want to keep the queso hot. So if you don't keep the cunt hot, it'll go a bit cold and solidify. You keep it hot so it stays hot. For everyone playing. So it stays home, liquid! There are three things in this world. Liquids, gases, and assholes. Don't be the third one. Do the right thing. Keep the cheese hot. <gasps> wow, wow! We just wanna drizzle a bit of cheese on the potatoes. It ain't a good potato, unless it's a cheesy tater. Yeah, baby. I think it's almost time to plate up. This is the good stuff. This will, this will be the, this is art. This is gonna be for dipping. All right, we got our queso drenched potato gems. With rosemary. With a sprig. Ooh, <laughs> jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. All right, so we got our sides. All right. Time for the grand reveal. When I say pork, you say puffy, porky, puffy, porky, puffy, pork, pork, puffy. Yeah, here we go. Feast your eyes on this. Good enough to eat, huh? Um, how do you get them off? I like to use a knife. Yeah, knife it. A lot of people say this is not how you serve food, but final touches are a must. And remember what we talked about in the beginning. High impact. We've been saving the basil for this very moment. <laughs> Gosh, we are mad cunts. Look at this, huh? Good enough to give to your mama for Zool. With a cheesy. Looks fucking delicious. Well, dinner served. So let's get a cross section here, just quickly before we dive in. The nut crusting on the pork is actually, this isn't even pork, this is bacon. That looks like bacon, dude. I'm gonna be real with you, I'm pretty sure that's fucking bacon. Dip it straight in. Ooh. Ooh. Every now and then you hit a nut. You hit a nut. nut. Oh. Ooh, the nuts cut. The nuts, the nuts cut. are very sharp. There's very sharp nuts in this. My official review. This is disgusting. Disgustingly fucking delicious. Mm. I recommend for everyone making this dish at home. Just ease up on all the stuff that we put in. Oh. Like I always say, you put basil on anything, it's gonna make it taste good. Didn't work this time. <laughs> and that's it. Hey, uh, Ruben, I think it's time we clean up this mess. What do you reckon? Yeah, okay. Boom. Oh, what? What? So thanks for tuning in, guys. That was very fun. And I hope you learn a lot. About yeah. the nut crusted <laughs> Pork parmigiana pastry puffs with a little bit of queso on the side. <laughs> Glad you remembered. It's quite the mouthful. You should try putting it in your mouth. Part two coming very soon. Tune into our next episode. We're going to be making a little dessert that could accompany that last dish. <laughs> Damn well. <laughs>